You have you're in screen sharing. Oh, I, I didn't choose you yet. Sorry. I am a profesh streamer, guys. I'm profesh. Clearly, clearly. I didn't lock. At least I didn't lock out. Lock myself outside again. So. <laughs> I, okay. I think that is a win in my book. All right, as usual, mute the Biku bot and Twitch alerts, and put this as a pop up. You can you can mute the Twitch alert, but you can never mute this. <laughs> I can mute the Discord if you want me to, Nate. We could do this another day. Oh my God, we could do this another day. Oh my God. All right, let me. Look up. Before anything and everything, let's see. So, before we start every visual novel, we like to say this. Content and trigger warning. Unveiling is a fantasy adventure for a gay visual novel, which is an 18 plus visual novel. It is mostly bara, si mostly bara, size difference, and wholesome stuff like fan service that the main character likes. Yeah. Other than that, it is a romance comedy fantasy adventure gay visual novel and other than that not much else they do say voice acting in the character's expression to make the visual novel feel more alive so we will attempt and try to do so so we got to pay attention yeah. to their faces but yeah uh, i think i believe that is it in terms of and what i need to time say <laughs> oh my god all right i was gonna say and this is a rule for me every time that copies uh copies uh get frolicky for some reason i'll just put the duck noise. no <laughs> not allowed i will turn i'm turning i can literally just mute the soundboard i'm doing that right now so you're not doing that to me I'm muting the soundboard on my end. So this, this sound, this specifically, is on your end. Wah, wah, wah. So yeah, now that's on your end only. All right, you ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's see, that is you. Ah, uh, okay. You are main character. Give me a second. Let me stretch myself up real quick. Ooh, okay. I, I just heard your back crack from here. Oh my god. Oh no, no. Oh no, that's not the back uh back crack. That's my knuckles. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. <clears throat> no. 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 You can't just do that. Yes, we'll fix this mistake. We have to. Or there will be nothing left. But not in that way. Just give me some time. It has been enough time since the all began. They're insolent. They don't know what. They don't know that. I can fix this. I just have to go and. Do you know what happened if we go there? That's right. But, uh... You don't know what could. Also, we won't help you. You can't just... We promised not to do that. Are you clicking? A little bit. Well, <laughs> I'm just clicking because I like... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I can hear it on the mic. <laughs> It is us or them. In that case, they'll be. And you think that might help you? Ooh. Whoop. Don't be on the. Oh, and there is a good side. This is. <laughs> yeah, it just immediately went through. You have to fix all this mess, or else. Of leaving you alone? That's not fine. Fine, I'll do it. I don't even know who's who's talking because I know that's separate entirely. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> ah! I woke up 
breathing heavily. A nightmare. At least, it wasn't the same as you. I sigh, relieved that those weird dreams are over. A ray of sunshine with the window suddenly hits my eye. And secondly, I cover my face with my paw. I notice how the light still passes through my fingers, making my first shine into the sunlight. Well? Here we go. I got up from the bed and started stretching my body, feeling my tail not responding to my movement. Ugh, cramp. I stopped on it, probably. <laughs> I laughed. I laughed when I felt how blood returns on my tail, giving me those string strange tickles. Is that right? Okay, yeah. I thought I was saying it wrong for a second there. <clears throat> well, my tail now working, I n turned my head to the small closet next to my door. I mean, bed, sorry. <laughs> I opened the drawer and took out some clothes. The usual, my scarf, a tunic to cover my chest, and some shorts. Just enough to cover most of my body to feel comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. I put on my clothes and stand in front of the mirror. Aw, oh, you're so cute looking. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Kuda. As my reflection, feeling ready, totally ready to start a new day and work as usual. Always. Uh. Take your time while reading. It's fine. We're in no rush. I get my tongue snapped. No. I grow. I feel that my stomach's empty. So I head towards the kitchen. First, let's get some tea. I say while we're having my tummy. Further emphasizing how hungry I feel. Where is she? Why oh, don't she come in right, right before I, I can get some clothes on? Right after saying that, a familiar smell caught features in my nose. I hear a knock on the door. I smile to myself, knowing who it might be. I'm in. I take a detour from the kitchen, heading now to the front door, feeling quite happy. Once I grab the knob and open the door. Damn abs! <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast. Damn abs. With a smile on her face, she raised her hands to greet me. Good morning, Alfie. Wake up late as usual? I groan because of the stupid nickname that she always used for me because of my short stature. Still using that nickname? I think you're just a few inches shorter than you. <laughs> I cross my arms and show my tongue to her in the most childish manner. S speak a little bit louder. I can't hear you down there. <laughs> it gives me a little pat on my head with a grin on her face. So funny, Al Aldara. I keep making faces to make the moment even dumber than it was. Than it already was. <laughs> <laughs> Evil simply laughed. I'll order me again. We're 20, I guess. Aldera was trying not to laugh. Being adult doesn't mean we can't do stupid sh- uh, well, Actually, I can just re oh, rewrite some of these. Being adult doesn't mean we can do can't do stupid shit like when we wear cups. Anyway, sorry, but- Draining, yeah, I get some other sweat, grass, dirt, and- I snap Aldera Thera once more. Rust coming from your sword. You should get rid of it and use a new one. I smiled and then hoard, head horn. <laughs> I smiled and then head uh, headed towards the kitchen and start making breakfast. Jeez, I always forget about your weird ability to identify scents very precisely. It's a little bit scary how good your nose is. Ugh. Aldera shivers as she takes a seat near my table. It's not like I could smell your soul or anything. Mm. She looked at me with a raised eyebrow and crossed arm, as if as if she was waiting for the joke. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm. 
Oh, they're right here. I need the egg boiling while making my... I'm <laughs> making my way to oh the my door. God. <laughs> well, I make my way to the door for a second time. How do you know? Hey, Bridget, did you finish that sentence? I play playfully pointed at my nose. <laughs> Keep forgetting about it. He scratched her cheeks a little bit embarrassed. Sorry, I forgot that I'm the narrator now. You are the verbal narrator, because this is, is said in the eyes. And yeah. Also, yeah. do you have the voice on by any chance? No, why? Okay, I'm just wondering. We're voice acting it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just thought you might, uh, might like the voice. Nah. Oh, but anyways. <laughs> I remember so over when I heard the door being so desperately knocked on. Hmm. That little pup. I open the door and suddenly a pair of little paws uh, grab me by the neck. Surprise attack! Wow! The little creature seems to be having fun, hanging from my neck, laughing playfully. <laughs> if I was as an assassin, you'd be dead right now! I saw a little fox in front of me. That's not nice killing other p anima, Matthew. Love doing kids' voices. It's fun. I said sarcastically. Hmm. Are you sure I'm Matthew? All their twins. He gave me, he gave me a de de defiant gaze. Meanwhile, his twin brother, brother Jaden, stood silently behind him. He noticed I was looking at him, so he gave me a warm, warm smile and a greeting from his, with his paw. The two foxes were waiting for me to do some kind of magic trick. You really, you really, really want me to do it? Mm. Jane and Matthew nod at the same time. One so gentle and sweet, and the other always full of energy. Use your weird dog powers! Matthew was excited to see ma some magic. I can't help but laugh at the silly phrases that he usually says. <laughs> you're the one. You're the only one besides Mom that can distinguish between us. Jaden was trying to convince me. I thought, I thought I was going to take one of them, but I guess not. <laughs> they're, they're, they're twins. I, I was going to use the same voice for them. Oh. Fine. I can't say no to you two. You two. I said we're the twins so I can fully see, uh, see them both. See them both. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's really easy to know who it is just by their personalities alone. But I know it may be difficult to differentiate them at first glance. I began to jump around them in somewhat exaggerated ways so Matthew could really feel the magic. <laughs> <laughs> it tickles! After I finished smelling, then I noticed the shampoo, soap, and flower essence from Jane and Spy. On the other hand, Matthew smelled almost like his brother, but with a touch of candy and sugar scent instead. You're Jaden, and you, Matthew. I pointed them respectively. Whoa! You're right! Yay! <laughs> Mom seems to be pleased with my magic trick. So, are my pair of cute little foxes already here? Oh, they are a bit appeared behind me. Oh, I could eat both of you entirely with kisses. He said while pulling the twin's cheek with a motherly tone. One that I usually find kind of dumb. Matthew really likes uh, Aldera's detention, but she didn't know he gets a pair by it. The twins look so funny with their faces stretched by her. You should wait and wait to eat me with kisses on your wedding! Oh no, wait, hold up. I'm rereading that. R. Yeah. <laughs> you should wait. You should wait to eat me with kisses on our wedding! Matthew yeah. gave her a hopeful smile. His statement caught me off guard, but it seemed like it was funny enough for Aldera because she was trying not to laugh. Uh, where do you want to marry? At the beach? Or we could even ask for Great Bogdan! Bogdan to bless our wedding! Matthew asked Eldreda with a determined look in his face. I'll give you points for your bravery and sincerity. Ladies really like that, but you're too young to even think of that. I'm ten! I'm fully grown up! Aw, of course you are, Pipsqueak. 
the panther ruffled his hair and took Whoa, that lagged hard. <laughs> The part, uh, the panther ruffled his head and took him to the kitchen. Matthew seemed disappointed. Never to reject that at such a young age. Jane and Allah look at each other and simply laugh at Matthew's attempt to marry Aldrea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the kitchen. Let's get to the kitchen. Oh god, my throat. Ooh. Take your time. Ooh. I could turn to owl. <laughs> anyway, it's dark. <laughs> it's okay. Let's take it to the kitchen table. I'm almost done with the breakfast. Well, the flocks followed me to the kitchen. Well, uh, there and Matthew were already on their seats. Hmm. They were talking to each other, laughing and making the table look, feel less lonely. Being with these three dummies almost makes me feel like I didn't lose anything. What the? Hello? Wait. What is that? Did I lose something? I mean... We want more! F we want food! We want food! Matthew's voice is napping out of my mind. Don't be so loud, Matthew! Hidden, a noise stretched his brother's cheek, but Matthew was too hungry to complain. <laughs> I rushed to the kitchen to finish the food. The eggs are ready. How long were you out? I made some tomato so sauce, I almost said soup. I made some tomato sauce to put on top of them, accompanied by some beans, and with a little fancy bundle of rice on the side, and... Voila! Breakfast of more four mouths, done. I gave each one a plate, and we started with the feast. It smells amazing! Enjoy your meal, everybody! Matthew has already eaten half of the meal when Jane is done. Alter and I grinned and started to eat. We enjoyed the meal and discussed various topics. I love this screen everyday interaction. Hey, Nukuda, you want me to help you with your with the usual? Hello, Fox took my attention. Yeah, pretty please. I can't believe you ask a ten-year-old to do math for you. He shook her to head disappointed. I covered Jaden's ears. Shh. Don't miss the demon panther. You and your brains are my best employees. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden looked at Aldera with a bashful smile. I thought I was your... Mm, best employee! Matthew grow with his mouth full of food. Mom says you mustn't talk with your mouth full. Sorry. Oh. Matthew lowered his head and stood with his mouth full. Of course you are, Matthew. No one can carry heavy boxes or take orders as fast as you. Yay! He turned back to his happy usual self. You really hit rock bottom with child exploitation. <laughs> Hey, I'm not exploiting them. Look, they're very happy and well fed. Mm-hmm. Mm. And Matthew nodded happily. Yeah, they can with the sprout uh stuff. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's cool, cool. Don't worry, Aldera. We're happy to help. Nikuda gives us food good company since mom is working all day. Also, we really like spending time with Nikuda. And his food is really good! Matthew seemed, uh, finally seemed to be done with his meal. No longer his mouth full. Aw, Jaden. That's so sweet of you. I love you. Oh, there could nag less mutteredly with these two. Again, maybe a little too much for me. Hey! Get away from my future wife! Matthew ran into his brother. But a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Once you all finished with break, uh, the breakfast, Halter and I started to wash the dish. It was like our everyday routine. Meanwhile, Matthew was cleaning the tables and sweeping the restaurant's floor. Dayton, on the other hand, was doing math on the table, writing all the earnings and expenses from this week. And as far as that was going, things really wasn't looking too great, uh, great this week. 
there's fewer and fewer customers in the restaurant. I mean, my restaurant. What the fuck is that? Everything went wild since that, that happened. I think that's still him. Everyone. They fear me. The disappearance. And that was all my morning with Dad. Up there at signs. I was like, I didn't have heard it to anything since she said stupid thoughts. Like, you dumbass, say something to her. Oh, that's crazy. You weren't listening to anything I was saying, were you? Fuckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I confess with shame. Is there something wrong, Nakuda? Her words took me over surprise. I was fully expecting her to be mad, but she looked worried instead. Uh, no, no. Just lost my thoughts, as usual. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's okay. She smiled at me and they kept on washing the dishes. <sighs> now I feel bad. God damn it, Nikita, you're dumb. I'll try and light things up. Mm -hmm. What will the hero of the town be doing today? <laughs> up there, Snickers at the very sm uh, smart and sweet nickname I gave her. Hey, it's no joke. You spent all day protecting the town's resident. You've been risking your own life. <sighs> How touching, Elfie. <laughs> She drew some water in her eyes to simulate tears. I groaned and blushed a bit. Maybe it was a bit, a bit too corny to me, for me. Talking seriously, today I'm investigating some classified stuff. Oh, there, close attack. As I was saying, that is increasing the security these days because. Sorry. She hesitated, leaving an awkward silence. It's still happening, isn't it? She looked away, trying to leave the subject to die. <sighs> Just... Please, be careful. Albera look at, looks at me, relieved and nodded. Everything is going... Uh, everything is... Everything's going to be fine, Nakuda. I promise! She leaned on me and rubbed her face with mine to assure, reassure me. Yeah. Yeah. Once everything was done, Aldera took her stuff to leave. Well, time for duty. She sat a little tired, but gave it to an, a big smile anyways. Be safe, Aldera. See you later, beloved future wife! Uh, Matthew excited with the greatest smile on his face. We may walk you out, Aldi. We walked in the main entrance. Nakuda. He stopped abruptly and looked at me seriously. Could you... Could you come with me to the to the graveyard tonight? Her mood change startled me and gave me a bad thing about it. I have a night shift, so... I want to take this opportunity to visit Mom. Altair was trying to put a stone front, but her tail moved side to side before that she was nervous. It must be still be very difficult for her. <laughs> of course I do. I grabbed her shoulders and gave her a reassuring smile. Thank you, Nakuda. Don't mention it, me, Panther. <laughs> Abdera showed me her tongue to continue to the silly moment that we had this moment. Well, take care and look after those two. I know as she said her last goodbye, then I made my way back to the kitchen. This is for your own good. What did you say? Oh, there close the door before I, before I could say anything. Okay. That made me feel Apa took my attention away from the door. Oh, Jaden, are you done with the jail? Uh, the bills? I said jills. No. <laughs> yes, uh, do you mind helping me check it out? Of course not. 
Let's go back. Let's go back to the table. I'll up Jade into the wooden table where we all. He had all the papers, bills, and things that I would still have a hard time understanding. Ah, damn it. I feel dumb letting a 10 year old do the bills for me. But he was also 10 times better at doing math than I am. He really is a smart little fuss. Jaden sat and I did the same in front of him. Then he extended his paw and I had it with mine. Thanks. The little fox has his little quirk. Like grabbing the paw of someone close to him. It makes him it makes it made him feel more assured of himself. It's cute, but sad because this thing started when his dad was a victim of that. I know this must still be dumb for you. Sorry. Are you really saying that while your brother is right there and dancing with a broom? Probably pretending it's Albera. We both look at Matthew. There he was giving his all on that imaginary dance floor. <laughs> we tried to suppress our giggles, but we didn't interrupt. So we didn't interrupt Matthew's fantasy. Fine, I get it. But still, I promised to work on this thing I have. Hey, you don't have to promise anything. You do you at your own pace. Of course, do it for yourself only. You're still a cub. You're still a cub, though. I don't think you should be worrying about this kind of stuff. I wish I wasn't just a cub. Getting whispered a little... Whispered a little crestfallen. I knew exactly what he meant by that. Jaden, you know that wasn't your fault. Anyway, fa you're right, Nakuda. Let's, um, let's finish this so we can start things up today at the restaurant. The little fox smiled at me, so we didn't even want... Wouldn't bring it up again. Sure. I forced his spawn to comply. Jade proceeded to verify everything. A couple times, I heard him say things like, This is wrong, or this is okay, but always holding on to my paw. Your paw... It's cold. Is everything okay? Oh, it's nothing. Trust me. Keep going, please. I laughed nervously. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still thinking about the meeting with Adara tonight. It was weird. I didn't know why I felt uneasy. Was I exaggerating? Was it just the graveyards that scared me? Well, graveyards are generally scary. More night. However, I don't think it has to do anything. It has anything to do with that? Well. She promised, that it, uh, promised me that everything would be okay, and I trust her. I really trust her. The day went on as usual. A few customers, orders, dishes, a little bit of salt over here, a little bit of pepper over there. Taste this, smell that. A day like any other. I said some soup of a dish I was making. He's fine, but... Fragrance is important. I drew in some bay leaves from the broth into the broth and let it settle for some minutes while I focus on some other dish. Two potatoes, a pinch of salt. I tried the soup again. Something's missing. Or maybe not. I don't know. I Nikuda! Is the veggie soup ready? Matthew watched me from the kitchen door. Oh, yeah, yeah. I quickly poured the soup in the bowl and handed it to Matthew. Smells delicious. Said Matthew cravingly. A little bit of saliva coming out of now. Hey, it's for the customer, not for you. Mm. Matthew giggles and quickly went to deliver the dish. Delicious, huh? Then why do I feel that way? I'm so delicious. Why isn't this place packed like... It used to be... The table's full. The crowded atmosphere, but... That's an, nonetheless... Orders everywhere. Deep inside of me... Oh, deep inside of me, I knew the answer very well. And held deeply, filling my lungs with much oxygen as I could. 
Before I let it out slowly, just think about it calmly, Nugita. None of this is your fault. Just keep working and smiling. Everything will be fine. So, everything will be fine. Everything. The sun was start uh, starting to st uh, set, and the stone couldn't sound enough to make it make up for today. Ugh. This sucks. However, I remain mean, positive despite it all. I know I can handle this. Suddenly, a bitter and familiar smell hits my nose. Oh, great, it's him again. Or maybe it's someone that smells just like him. Please? Nakuda, the bossy bird is here. He's looking for you. He says that your presence is required immediately. Athy whispered, giggling a little, saying that the last part with a high-pitched voice, mimicking the bossy bird. My nose didn't light him. <laughs> Tell him that I'll be there in a second. Also, don't call him that. It would be bad if he heard you. I tried to hide my smirk by hot pot, but he's scolding the little fox. <laughs> mm. I admit, it was kind of funny, but it's wrong to make fun of others. Matthew giggles again. I mean, for a while, that I enjoyed when he, I enjoy when he could make fun of the bossy bird. But, I repeat, that's wrong. You just like a bad ah, nose. Mm -hmm. I walked in and entered some small restaurant. Currently empty to meet the animal I at least wanted to see today. Hmm. The peacock grumbled once I was in his presence. Hey, Silarius, how are you today? I put on a fake smile, hiding how little I wanted to see him. Finally, I have so many important things to do than wasting my time with your little pixie. He looks at my restaurant with quite a bit of distaste. Yeah. His personality is the same as always. We just kept in sort and get straight to the point. I said, crossing my arms, leaning against the leaning against the entrance door. Well, that's perfect for me. I have to get ready for the festival of Eden. I could I had completely forgot that I was it that that's in a few weeks. Everything has to be perfect though, I have a great button. Of course, I'm the only one competent enough to make everything look flawless. As I listen to the Silarius, uh, endless narcissism, Mary Jaden and Matthew chuckling. They're probably making fun of Silarius, like they always usually do. So I clicked. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, watch. You want to watch the twins instead of listening? I wanted, yeah, I want to watch. Okay, okay. <laughs> As expected, Matthew was copying Solera's beak movement, while the peacock continued his undeniable talk about how perfect everything needed to be. Matthew! <laughs> Stop! Being surprised with la uh, laughter, not wanting Solera to notice the show being staged on his behalf because of Matthew. I know it's very childish for me to chat, laugh at the two children making him mischief. But Matthew's invitation to Larry is still funny and accurate. I, couldn't help, I can't help but watch. So, this is what I'll defuss him about. Our show collapsed when Solera entered the restaurant and saw the two foxes making fun of him. I didn't realize he was. I didn't realize when he walked in. I should have known those two brats should be, would be here. He didn't lower his gaze in embarrassment at being find, I found out. On their hand, Matthew just stuck his t tongue out at Silurius playfully. And you also got involved in your silly game. A little maturity if you have for a cat your age. He looked at me with such disgust in his face. Don't be a party pooper, Zillis. We were just playing and imitating such an elegant role model as yourself. Matthew said sarcastically, then put his back on the 
Put his paw on the back. Paw back on the back of his head. I can't talk for a second. Take your time. Matthew said sarcastically, then put his ba uh, paw back on the back of his head. He imitates Delirious and Feathers, which stood on, <laughs> stood on end when he got angry. <laughs> Are you going to fight with two Trenton? What little retreated for a bird of your age, Silius? Silius took a deep breath and cleared his throat to return his <clears throat> graceful posture. Excuse me, uh, please excuse my brother, Silius. We know that wasn't right. Surprisingly, Jaden got up from his seat and paused as a bird. <clears throat> At least one of you was polite. Silius kept. Uh, kept rumpling and checked his lists, which I only just realized he had with him just this whole time. Ugh. Well? We have to go, Nakuda. It's dangerous to be away from home when it's dark out. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong brother. Hold up. <laughs> well, we have to go, uh, Nakuda. It's dangerous to be away from home when it's dark out. Aww, but I wanted to keep playing with the chicken. And the Zillies were faster and angrier after hearing the little fox comment. Matthew, stop it. He pulled on his uh, brother's pointy ear. Ow! Ow! Okay, fine! Uh. The, the little fox got bummed out. Thanks a lot for your help. It's great to have you two here as always. I gave them both a goodbye hug. Ew, I'll be waiting outside for you to finish with your family scene. I had Matthew stick his tongue out over my shoulder to monk Silius. Uh. Hilarious. Once he was gone, I separated from twins and looked at them. You both be very careful on your way home. Please. Come on, Nikuda. We don't live that far. Besides, look at all these babies. No, look at these babies. No one will mess with us. Little fox flexed his arm proudly. And no must have stood out. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then I look at Jaden. Take care of him, please. Matthew pr uh, puffed in embarrassment. Don't worry. Jaden took his brother's paw. I won't let anything bad happen to him. Hey! Uh, I should be the one saying that! Matthew was, uh, was still a little upset. And it was gig uh, just giggle as he watched his brother draw, draw a potential. The three of us left, uh, left the restaurant and saw Silarius waiting for me impatiently. See you, Silarius! At the twin in unison, one obviously louder than the other. About time, you two go get your fleas off or something before I lose my patience. <laughs> Blairus cried in pain as Matthew plucked at one of his feathers and then ran as fast as he could. Oh, fuck. Did they just go? Yeah. He vibrated. Uh, could you could you go back a little bit? I didn't read the entire deal. His bird just behind him trying to keep up. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm saying. His scream was loud enough that his voice. The destroyer's rasp to the point of sounding just like a crackle. Thanks for the gifts, Willis! The slattle fox yelled at him and as he fled, dragging his brother behind him. The nearby animals that had watched the entire scene struggled to hold back their laughter. No knowing well that Silius was an authority figure, when he managed to notice them anyway, he be visibly began to blush. You spoiled brat! Silius <laughs> shouted furiously. Hilarious, this is a little fox. What's that between chokers? <laughs> Do you know how long it takes for feathers to grow? I don't know. I'm not a chicken. Peacock! I'm a peacock, you uncultured swine! Daddy! Ha! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I expected that sooner or later. <laughs> Lord, Lord Delarius, you okay? We heard you we screaming! Heard you... Oh. oh. You, you, you say them. It's, it's fine. No, no, We no, heard no, you no, screaming! Two guards who have been comforting Solarius suddenly appeared. 
The kangaroo and his cheetah seem concerned by the explosive nature of the peacock. Science, you fool! The gods stood firm, firm and fearful. Fearful, yeah. Poor things. I pity them. All right, I'm, we're I'm, we're gonna go on a, just an early bit, like a ten minute break. I gotta go check on the dogs and make sure they're okay. It is getting no dark, problem. so we will be taking a ten minute break. We will return at six fifty six fifty two p.m. Eastern Standard Time GMT minus five. So yeah, everyone, stand up, stretch, get some water, get some food. We'll be right back in ten minutes, just real quick. All right. Yeah, no problem. BRB.
Sorry about that. That was working. Mug mug book. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. Yeah. Uh, this is me, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Four things. I beat it in. Sidar. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hilarious. Uh, I took a deep breath again. I could calm his anger. Get this commoner the bag. The kangaroo quickly grabbed a bag on the sides of armor and handed it to me somewhat awkwardly. Here it is. He was tied. He opened the cloth bag. My eyes widened at the sight of a large number of gold coins. Z -z Zilly, this is. Don't get me wrong. I'll get it wrong. There was a scent to you that could be bought in. He said pridefully. <laughs> As if he hadn't gone and fully done enough for you. Hilarious said huffed in disgust. But this is. This is too much. I can't accept such an amount. I still couldn't believe how much money I had in my paw. How dare you try to refuse Watkins' blessing? You're a grateful cat. I didn't say I didn't say anything. I could, not, I could only look away from it with some guilt. But obviously, I'm not giving you, you all this for free. Like a hilarious, expectantly waiting for an explanation for the amount of gold he just gave me. Silas opened the opened the scroll he had been carrying all the time and cleared his throat to make a speech. But to create this great bodkin, you would be. Well, uh, one of the cooks who will prepare each and every dish that is to be served at the festival of Eden. He ended the statement with some sort of taste in his mouth. And there my animals I heard Solaria's word begin to murmur at my so in astonishment. He got he chosen. chosen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You'll serve the food? What is the great bold in thinking? Shush, don't question him. It has to be some kind of joke. With my arms, I tried to cover the, cover the bare parts of my ab abdomen before all the stairs I was getting. Hmm. Yeah, being better than finer cooks, you end up choosing you. He helped in the disagreement. In any case, this is your stip what the fuck? Stipulated payment stipulated. for defining your yeah. service. Stipulated. Stipulated. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Payment for defining your service at the festival. Being your first time participating in this, I recommend you get yourself a little more. A more. He raised an eyebrow, looking at me from head to toe. Decent attire. Decent. Those two dudes over there had their nips out. Decent? No one asked me. I don't want you to humiliate the other chef by bringing such a rat in the kitchen. Me? Cooking for thousands of animals? That's insane. Still, this is way too much money. It's all so sudden. I don't know if I'm ready for such a responsibility. I, I can't turn this down, though. Well, time for me to leave. I expect fairly little, little from you, so don't push yourself too hard. Ha 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 ha. Without paying any mind to a I snap it on my trace. Trent. Wait, Silius. Solaris, uh, I yelled before the peacock uh, walked away along with his guards. Now what? Ashamed, I swallowed hard. I looked at him. It helped Bogan that I really appreciated his help. Solaris huffed frightfully. Oh, in your life, don't forget that dishwa dishwasher. Solaris left, leaving with a hole in my stomach and not in my throat. I know that. I know that I own everything. I said to myself with pain in my chest. The animals that I got around onto the windows of scene scattered. Some regarded me as a freak, while others avoided eye contact. I grabbed the sack of money tightly and closed the door of my restaurant. And to close. And that's how another day ends. Yes, more unusual than the average day in this village.
This really took me by surprise. Me. The cook. For the festival. Oh. Why now? It's been years since... You know, you owe him your life. Don't forget that, dishwasher. The world is delirious. Not to my mind the whole time I was putting away tables and chairs. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's been years since he... No, I just dropped up by accident. Don't... Okay. In that place. But why was he there that day? At that place? What was I doing there? Wait, where, where was I that day? My head started to hurt. I was alone. Of course, I always been alone, right? Uh, thinking I drew a large amount of water in my face. I turned off the water boss and it kept leaning under the sink as I took a deep breath. There's no need. To think about the past, because you're fine. Well, I dried my face with the closest rag I had. Huh? I noticed that something smelled like smoke nearby. Oh, right, the firewood. I got to put it out. I sighed tiredly. I took a glass and filled it with water. Only the wood is left to consume itself with the fire. But I really like this, like the smell of burning wood. I removed the pots and other utensils, putting them in the, in, in the sink. Slowly, and from the distance, I poured the water to I poured the water to put out the fire. The sound was somewhat smooth, soothing, but I couldn't say the same about the smell. That day, the smell. What was that here smell? Ah! The last sound and the small piece of the hot wood flying gave me a terrible fright. I had done the water abruptly because I was a, I was distracted. My reflexes helped me to jump back from the fire quickly. Shit! I put a paw on my chest in the relief. That's when I thought the danger had passed. I felt a burning sensation in the palm in the palm of my chest. A piece of wood had burned a small part of the fur in my paw. What? Did I? Oh, sorry. Did I would... Just one more time. Just one more time. Okay. A piece of wood had burned a small part of the fur on my paw. No. No, 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 no. I yelled in desperation as I ran to my bathroom. I sat the door open and grabbed the soap as fast as I could. They rubbed it in the part where it burned my fur. No, no, no. Please, please! It was too late. The smell has already entered my nose. My eyes began to reveal tears and my breathing ac accelerated terribly. I felt my body lose strength. I tried to go to my bed, but I couldn't see where I was. Everything was so dark. My eyes filled with was full of tears. My heart was pounding terribly. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't keep my balance. I protected my face with my paws so as, so as not to hit it with my when I fell to the floor. No. Not again. Please. Please. I felt like choking. Then a sharp pain in my chest it made me grab, grab it tightly. The world, already dark, became distorted with red and black colors around me. <laughs> My shadow began to cons consume me like a black substance. Ni oh, Nick. <laughs> Calm down. Nothing is real. The viscosity was so palpable, it didn't feel like something imaginary. thing rose from the ground and started to consume me. It swallowed my tail, leg, bag, and finally part of my face. 
The floor was engulfed with flames that slowly climbed up to my legs. The ground seemed to like seems like a dark void in which hands of the same liquid tried to reach at me and drag me down with them. I could see a deformed face crying agony. Those hideous creatures. Why did they look so familiar? Help us, Nikuda! It burns! It bleeds! It hurts so much! Save us! I can't stand it! Those awful and suffering things called out of my name. Not on my name, but such agony. You are not real. You are. Leave me alone. I tried to rip that horrible thing out of my body. I ripped and scratched my entire being to inside the knots that had been that had taken not a uh, hold of me. Not a I managed to free my mouth and face from the disgusting substance, but I still couldn't get up from the dark, dark and sticky floor. What the fuck is this? Why does it keep haunting me? Desperately, I turned my body to the face of the ceiling so I couldn't see the forest the floor reflected. It was all so unreal. Oh, so st oh. my bad. <clears throat> That's okay, man. I took a deep breath, closing my eyes slightly, but I quickly opened them to make sure nothing would come after me. <laughs> now the roof has disappeared. The sound of a huge fire made me doubt if this was really just a trick of my mind. I could see, I could see how some trees, which covered the false sky, burned, and in their ashes, the black creatures appeared again. There was no escape. Why did you let us die? Ah! Coward! Shut up! Get away from me! Fuck off! I shout out at those voices with too much difficulty because Anonymous would have me almost speechless. So like my side was covered by black creatures. He managed to grab my arms and raise my torso little by little. Nikuda! Nikuda! They moaned my name. So much pain. I'm scared. Please. Anyone. Help me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tears streamed down my face as I begged to wake up from this nightmare. Nick Oda! Nick Oda! Nick! Nick Oda! Nikuda! Nikuda! The voice gradually took on a feminine and vaguely familiar tone. I still couldn't see anything, I just felt how my body was moved with desperation. Nikuda! It's me! Aldera! There. She's my best friend, of course. She sounds very sad and worried. Oh, Dara, help me. Oh, and not that my throat, uh, throat wouldn't let me say what I wanted. I felt arm wrap around my back and pulled me into a warm embrace. I'm here, buddy. I I'm here. She rubbed her face on mine to calm me down. I I'm sorry. I actually tried to talk I keep talking. Shh, 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 shh. Just breathe. Keep breathing. He silenced me, so I wouldn't so that I would stop wasting the almost non-existent air in my lungs. I managed to take a deep breath and began, began to exhale slowly. That's right. <laughs> Just like that. 
I felt her paw caress the fur on my shoulders and arms. Little by little, my heart rate stabilized. My heart, my sight returned. My sense sharpened, and the dark world filled with colors again. The black thing covered my body was gone. The mishap, the mishap, been, uh, hands, misshapen. Oh, misshapen. Sorry, misshapen hands and face slowly disappeared. Oof! Flashbang. <clears throat> You're safe. I won't let anyone hurt you. They are said with soft voice. Oh my God! What was that? It was like a beep. <clears throat> I continued to take deep breaths until my res respiration was normal. I felt a huge relief to see Elvira in front of me. I appreciate that she got me out of this ni out of that nightmare. Again. I'm glad I'm still able to deal with your panic attacks. Panic attacks. I don't think these things are just panics. Yet, she doesn't really know. She doesn't know what I really see. I never told her about the things that haunt me. I don't know if something really haunts me. If it is a product of my imagination, or if it's a Kurt. Never mind. I never wanted to tell her. I didn't want her. I don't want her to be scared or think I'm going crazy. How do you feel? She looked at me relieved. I... I'm fine. I try to smile softly so she wouldn't worry anymore. I'm glad, Elfie. She used the stupid nickname to get rid of the tension. <laughs> I chuckled softly, softly, still without much strength and with my stomach upset. Here, I'll help you get up. While well, there, I placed one of my arms around her neck, and with one claw on my waist and the other on my shoulders, lifted off me off to the ground. Carefully, she let go of my body to see if I can stand upright. With some wobbling, I was able to get regain my posture and stand normally. Well done. While well, there, I keep praising every positive thing I did. It's kind of silly, but cute. She was trying to make me feel good. Or something. I, that's something I really appreciate about her. <sighs> nice, out there. I breathe uh, deeply in sign of relief. <clears throat> You're welcome, Elfie. She smiled at me. I really felt like I was going to die. This is kind of fair great to her. Come. Um, I think you need to sit down for a minute. She guided me to the edge of my bed very carefully. How do you feel? The door to my room was flung open, open, interrupting Aldera's words. Our <clears throat> excuse, uh, <laughs> I should use the Russian point to speak, Tiri Khan. Excuse, <laughs> our disrespect, boss. We thought you may have had some problems. Damn, titty and fucking thighs. What <laughs> the hell is this game? All in order? Two guardsmen entered the door with difficulty, as their bodies were somewhat larger for the frame, one being a lion with an abundant mane, and the other with a fang that highlighted snout. Definitely say large. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My. God. They both wore their armor and metal shoulder pads, distinctive of the of the guards. The lion's had his closest chest, adamant, and uh, a huge pexy. Pe 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 yeah, definitely, de definitely <laughs> huge. <laughs> On the other hand, the tiger was a bit more was more covered, but I couldn't help but see his thick legs and show uh, how tight his armor was. <laughs> oh my god! Suddenly, my nose began to pick up each of the scents. Musk. Oh fuck! They both smell so <laughs> like that's so weird. I feel so weird. They both smell so manly. <laughs> Their sweat. Type of shampoo they use in their cologne. They are playing a furry, a furry visual novel, so. <laughs> they did say Bara and just like fan service for the main character. 
God. The smell was so intense in my nose. Don't worry, guys. My friend just wasn't feeling very well, but everything is fine now. Ah. Uh-huh. There, I looked at me and noticed something very peculiar. peculiar. Oh. But on second thought, could you help me check if my friend is in good condition? You know, a little first aid practice. I smiled and raised both eyebrows with mal- malice. Ma- malice. Malice. I can't talk. Got there. It's okay. This is you remember that you that's not a panic attack? It's not it's not necessary. I'm Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm taking a screenshot of this, I'm sending this to Jem. Ah. Hold on. You want to hide the text box so you can, so you nope. can see the thing? Nope. <laughs> I'm saying the entire thing. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. It's in the group chat. <laughs> my god are, are you gonna are you gonna reply to jen's uh Shut comment up. there it's okay continue oh. the guards put their weapon aside and approached me danger 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 <clears throat> i almost feel my face burn it and hear my heart cry out for help once they were just a few inches away from me i noticed how massive both of them were they were huge. Oh my god, Mora, if you're still here, my god. <laughs> what we watching. Nope, Mora is missing out, I guess. All right. <laughs> well, nope. well, Mora, I guess you're missing out on this one. <laughs> my god. Furthermore, I was staying in bed. And you could have served their <clears throat> entire size from below. However, <laughs> did not last long. Because they both crashed to be at the same height as me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Could you give me your paw, young. <laughs> Go fucking background! The well, lion was waiting for an answer, but the words wouldn't, couldn't come out of my mouth. Uh. Nakuda. His name is Nakuda. Excuse him, he's a little bit scared. Oh, there, come on, with some concern. Pain, of course. Don't worry, young Nikuda. We'll be very careful checking you to see if everything is okay. The lion smiled politely at me. His voice was so deep and comforting. Yes, just tell him if it hurts, uh, something hurts. The tiger with a similar voice continued to inspect my body. Jesus Christ, this entire image alone is just <laughs> wild. <laughs> Thank God. After a moment, I snapped out of my, out of, out of my stupid trance and raised my paw. The lion took it and placed it on, on his to take my pulse. His paw is huge! Yes, his paw is so huge. Ugh. Not to mention his he- uh, arms are almost as thick as a head. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the smell of cologne as me was so strong. To- oh, that feels really weird. Oh my god. My paw began to sweat and my race- uh, heart raced terribly. Just hang it. <laughs> hmm. His pulse is a little fast, and his paws are somewhat cold. And if you don't be so obvious, Big Bakken, you uh, you're feeling too. I mean, it's easier for us to check you. I completely forgot the what voice again. It's, a, it's like fine. That. I also lo- I'm in last words. <laughs> <laughs> Said the tiger with leaf before placing his big paw on my forehead. I can't believe how two huge beefy guys are getting all my body so deli- delicately. I looked over <laughs> to Eldria. She has a big mischievous grin on her face. That panther's having so much fucking fun with this situation. It feels kind of hot. But the tiger to the lion. Shit, shit, shit. 
Despite my inner panic, the line touch made me feel a burning sensation in my paw. Ouch! I groaned and reflect reflectively in pain, moved my paw away. The line noticed that a part of my fur was burned. It was from the piece of firewood that triggered that torment just now. I found the burn! <clears throat> the lion notified the tiger. I think I have some bandages over here. The tiger began to search in the small bag hanging from his hip. What? <laughs> do, do, I, do I have to censor this? Like, I, don't, I don't know what to do anymore. This is just wild. But we, we don't have any ointment to ease the pain. I think a little bit of saliva might help. <laughs> oh, very commented, commented with the still smile. Not it. The line nodded. The line nodded to Altera and then proceeded to lick my paw. Oh my god. <laughs> my I'm god. Gonna oh. <laughs> this fucking scream. I put the big raspy tongue with a lion moist in the. What's the one? The tingling ran into my entire body up to my tail. Oh I'm my petrified. god. <laughs> I can feel my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah? Uh, no, 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 not now. Yeah? I grabbed my leg a little as the lion was taking the bandage uh, that the tiger has found in this thing. Things. Oof. The lion began. Began to bandage my paw. Yeah. Mm. Just from his touch alone, I could feel his entire face burning. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, my body didn't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> he began to burn. Oh, I forgot he does that, huh? Sure. Uh... I began to purr involuntarily, but quickly pretended to cough and audibly to cover my body's wishes. It seems you may have a little cold as well, young Nikulda. The lion finishing my uh, finishing bandaging my paw. Uh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I think. <laughs> I answered, trying to hide my purse. Out there, I tried to suppress her laughing, knowing exactly what was <clears throat> happening. What was happening at that moment? I think that is it. Spot, the lion spotted me again. Thanks. I looked at him without. <clears throat> I looked at him without really looking at them, concentrating all of my energy and knowing that discomfort on my crotch. This <laughs> yes, the fan service in this game is quite fucking strong. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, the Jesus. fan stuff is right, quite strong for you. You're collecting uh, these shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm collecting these for later on Twitch. <laughs> uh, You're collecting later. I'm, uh, I'm collecting reactions. At your service. That's God. That is our duty to make sure you're safe and sound. If I don't see any fantasy visual novel or any like video game that does not have their guards in either bare chested or thick thighed, I don't want anything to do with that game. <laughs> this is the uniform for everything now. No matter what. No matter what. No this matter is the what. fucking uniform. My god. They both lowered their heads as a sign of respect. Good job, guys. This is what I train you for. Thank you, mum. Thank you, man. They both look very proud. <laughs> I am too. Someone embarrassed by Aldera's prey. What? <laughs> How much power did that panther have over them? I call dibs. Look at you, Arden! <laughs> Arden! Out! Out! Go! Go back to watching watching your things! I know. This is mine! <laughs> this, is not our, this is not your visual novel! Get get the, get I out know. of here! No. I'm pushing you back what? down uh, underneath the visual novel now. <laughs> get, get down there! Go! And there it goes. Shoot. Oh my god. You better know it now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll make oh you put that on there. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm glad that it finally away from me. I could take any more of the tension. <laughs> oh, guys, would you mind helping him up? He feels... Uh, he's He was feeling a little bit dizzy. What? <laughs> That's why I'm cleaning murder after this. I don't care if you put me in saucy jail. This is mine. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
the two massive guys were about to come over to help me up until I yelped in a rush. No! <laughs> the two guards looked at me a little surprised. Crap, I think that was too loud. Yeah, you think? I mean... <laughs> Whoa. There's no need, you guys, really. I, I feel better already. Yeah? I got out of my bed. Obviously, uh, I mean, uh, having solved my underwear problem first. I won't even be clowning anymore. Much. Thank you, uh. really. Uh. Oh, and for that bandage, too. I smiled nervously at the two guys. Suddenly, I felt an arm around my neck. Hey, and what about my thanks? I taught them everything they know. She shook me playfully with her arm around me. Thanks? You were supposed I'm gay. Besides making making look like a fool in front of two guards. Really? Expose? Was that not clear? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You did well too. I mumbled with a not friendly and all smile. Every D and D character is every D and D character I make from now on, Arden. If you're still listening, will either look like the, the guy on the left or the guy on the right. No exceptions anymore. <laughs> this is the armor. This is the full armor. No exceptions. That's what they're wearing. I know, Alfie. I'm the best, and you love me for it. Stupid nickname again. Surprisingly, <clears throat> both guards sighed uh, tiredly. I see that you also were not separate, spared by the boss and her not not at all creative nicknames. The line sighed wearily again. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I love yours. <laughs> Milky ticks. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger laughed and pinched the nip off the line. Oh my god, straight people are just wild, guys. The line... The lion blushed slightly and grabbed his arm, hiding his massive tit. Hey guys, if you want to know, the gayest man in the world is the straightest man. They do the <laughs> wildest things at sports, guys. Honestly. His tits, uh, chest, sorry. Oh, they were placing- <laughs> Oh yeah? I prefer yours, lewd ass. <laughs> the lion does really a very audible spank to the tiger. Oh my fucking god. They both hit their foreheads together angrily, but without letting it go of their friendly smile. Milk Tits is grabbing his ass and, and, yeah, and Lude ass is pinching his nips. You wanna die, Milky Tits? I saw, I saw a slight tick to Milk. In a lion smile. <laughs> oh, I was thinking how happy I'll be when I bury your body, Lude ass. A hostile aura group between the two of them. On second thought, Alfie doesn't sound too bad. I sat in this point and looked disappointedly to at Aldrea. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. I didn't reveal their nicknames. They spill, spilled the beans themselves. Besides, I only use those nicknames when we are training to tease them. Aldrea doesn't really feel any remorse for Rudy going to her, guard, her guards. Neither do I. Neither do I. Huh. I began to hear the distinctive warning growls of angry felines to coming up the guards. They looked like they would start fighting at any moment. No, please, don't. Don't rip off don't. your armors and fight each other. Hey guys, no dumb fucking fights over here. Both guards hopped and looked away from each other. Uh, 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 like playful little kittens. Prideful little kittens. Sorry. Don't you think they look hot when they fight? Yes. Same here. <laughs> I answered what I'm thinking. I mean... Oof. Instant regret. Oh, did you hear that, guys? Nikuda thinks you're hot. Ugh. That's really hot in here. Don't you want to get some fresh air outside? And try to be into Aldera, covering her mouth fast. Both guys nodded it. <clears throat> No, come Still back. with the silly <laughs> fight between them, they left my house. No, don't leave. <laughs> I removed my paw from Aldera's mouth and she followed the guards. 
Not, not without giving me a first a teasing grin. You're welcome. <laughs> Winked at me. I hate her. But my love for her is strong enough to, enough to put up with your jokes. I rolled my eyes and follow, uh, followed her. I shall weaponize the the feline attraction to men. <laughs> Damn. The fresh air about the night. <clears throat> Sorry. The fresh air okay. from the night is so relaxing. Enough to make me forget about their, their stupid jokes. Thanks for escorting me, guys. I can handle it from here. The big feline lowered their head to show their respect for her. Good luck with the night shift and take care. I would hate if something happened to my best soldiers. But there is said with a motherly tone of hers. I'm sorry, my eyes have not like left that man's thighs whatsoever. <laughs> it's like, I, like I've been staring at it. All, I see the words motherly, and that's it. Like, <laughs> like, um, I, sh sir, sir, kill me with those legs, please. Just, just squeeze, just, just suffocate me. <laughs> I, I will appreciate this death. I'm sure you would. Oh my god. It's funny that they are twice her size and she still acts like they're her mother. God, they're twice her size. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. They shout out firmly. Yeah, yeah. Firm, firm, firmly. Before they, before they left, Lion approached and extended his paw to me. This took me to surprise, but I returned to Pashik. It was a pleasure finally meeting you, young Nakuda. And sorry for all the fuss that we caused in your house. He smiled. I'm a little ashamed. Uh, oh, no problem. Sorry for the inconvenience. The, the bandage is all about that. I laughed nervously. <laughs> oh, there approaches, putting her snout to her ear. His eyes are up here, Nakuda. He whispered to take the whip. I blushed and tried to not... Tried really hard not to kill her down there. My god, thank god I wear sunglasses. They'll never know that I'm staring at his thighs. Is kneeling <laughs> right in front of his legs, staring directly at it. <laughs> the line finished the paw shake and moved away from me. Don't worry, Nakuda. Uh, we know how dear you are to the boss. Oh, there his face turned red and her tail started moving side to side nervously. <laughs> yeah, she's always talking about you, Nakuda. They go to this and they go to that. She never shuts up about you. Shush! Enough! Get lost, you two! No, <laughs> no, the thighs. A bear pushed the felines away from me. Damn. He's really strong. He should push them like that. The guards laugh and they really <laughs> they really took their payback with her, on her. Even I had mine. However, right. they said something very sweet. Oh, there came back to me, and I noticed the big guy's leaving. Tomorrow, I'll kill those idiots. I had to, ooh, I froze. Interrupted up there with a big warm hug. I really appreciate having someone look out for me, even if someone, everyone else, sees me as a freak. As long as I have her, everything will be okay. Didn't you want to kill me just now? You tease me, but I paid no mind. Nikuda. I looked at her, resting my ar head on her chest. She was pointing at the two guards at the distance. Look at the tiger. Don't you want to know why I gave him that nickname? I looked at the tiger as a white back and checked him, checked him up and down. He had a really big hard butt and thick strong legs. You guys know from here, Comfy's an ass man, an ass and thigh man. That's what I go for. <laughs> what about you, Nick? Are you an ass, thigh, or chest type of person? All I can think, all I can think of whenever you choose one is that that one fucking meme of like that uh, somebody numbing on it. Yeah, which one would you numb on, Nick? <sighs> You're so ass, thighs, or or chest? Which one? The world needs to know. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Chess, by the way. <clears throat> chess? Oh, okay, you heard her here first. Nick is a chess man. The line looked look very similar, but his back, next him back stood up from the rest of his body. Nice, you ruined a moment. 
Why is that kind of annoying? Ending the hug. No. Why did you stop? I really like your hugs. Did you go down a play book? <laughs> oh, give me a second. Take your time. Drink some water. Hydrate. I did. I did. It went the wrong time for a second. <laughs> You're right, Zurio. Why not all? I don't know. Like, all is nice. But, like, a good thick thigh is like eating into a nice piece of ham. <laughs> My god. I swear to god, are you saying any more of this? I'm gonna fucking choke. Yep. Anyways. <clears throat> she put on a pay she put on a playfully sad voice and attempt to make me feel guilty. How's she get for all your silly little jokes? I grumbled. Oh, what silly little jokes? Don't play innocent. I know you always bring the biggest and hottest guards and harbors up with you. <laughs> Just to make fun of my reaction. I exclaimed with a little with little dignity I had left. Oh, wow. That's really how you thank me for bringing you hunky, sexy guys to take care of you and serve you? That's so mean. She was still playing the victim, but I wasn't buying any of that. Well, I'm not bringing any more guys then. I was going to raise her eyebrow with that smug grin on her face. I mean, I don't care. Do whatever you want. I like the way you're really ashamed. Come on, Nakuda. You don't have to keep pretending. I fully accept your love for guys and dicks. The last word made me blush from top to bottom. Stop! I'm God, he's so explicit, I get it! There wasn't any of the close to us, but I was still worried that someone could hear us. Don't worry, Nick. I accept that you love all guys and dicks. Don't worry, Nick. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> Give me back my precious cuddles, or I'm gonna yell your love for cocks out loud. She extended her arms and gave me a threatening look. That's too low, even for you. I know you wouldn't dare. Oh, you think I'm not saying that? You love big cu- I immediately cut her off with a hug. Yay! Okay, after I was the hug and started purr. How old are we- how old are we again? I sat and defeated what the panther enjoyed having gotten her way. So, Nakuda, tell me, which one did you like the most? She asked while petting my head. Still with that? Just dropped the subject already. I complain, but still ashamed with that about the situation. Just tell me. I really want to know. Ugh. <laughs> this is a choice. So which one, Nick? Yep. Which one did you prefer? Uh. Which one, Nick? Which one did you prefer? <laughs> I know, oh, you're, <laughs> I know you're a oh, chest please. man, so like... Okay, go tiger. <laughs> go lion? No, tiger. <laughs> tiger? All right. The tiger, I think. You seem so playful and cute. Why are you squeezing his ass with you? I'm even buying it a little. Oh my god. I'll dare edit that abruptly. Oh my Bogdan! Do you like big bottoms? You want to make them sit on your face? Nakuda! How kinky you are! She read my mind. Yeah, obviously oh my with God. Me. Yeah, obviously with faking, uh, faking surprise. Just to make me look like a perfect cat. This face? Wiping it with a cloth. I'm I'm having this seat ready for you. <laughs> big, <laughs> big asses. Oh, that's for you to know. Yes. And the worst thing is that she said it out, all that out loud for anyone to hear. Yes. Can't get right now, you crazy panther! I was so furious and embarrassed that even the fur on my back stood on stood on an end. You'll have to catch me first, pervert Elfie. <laughs> I ran away with a benevolent laugh. I'm not playing your games. Come here. I ran too, following her. After all the outrage and the angry things I had yelled at her, I was laying a few inches from her, panting heavily. 
I mean, really gonna kill you. I took several deep breaths, trying to wipe out that sweat on my forehead. I lean against a nearby rock, trying to still trying to recover. Oh, Dara shook her head in disappointment. We really need to work on that weak body of yours. We only ran for like a couple minutes. Like me? She seemed cool. And without a single drop, a drop of sweat. She's so evil. I love her so much. Yeah, same, <laughs> Zuriel, same. Aren't you worried about not being able to keep up in bed? I don't know if you can handle the type of guys you like. He said with a uh, feigned concern. I... Too tired. To argue with you. I kept my anger to myself so I could concentrate on breathing. Not there a few minutes. I noticed how they are watched every corner of the graveyard. As a matter of fact, I didn't notice until we were already here. Are you far away from your mic, Nick? No, I, I think it's because I'm just talking, uh, talking, uh, quieter by accident. Let me try again. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I didn't notice we were already here. That better? Yeah. Oh, you're cool. Being so focused on catching out there, uh, uh, disoriented to me. It seems like no one's here. She sighed, relieved. The graveyard looks creepy as always, even though flowers and trees growing around it doesn't don't really help to make it look better. And why does it look so familiar to me? The lamps weren't really very helpful either. You could barely see where you were get walking. Oh, one second. Uh, I honestly think my my comp can handle content warning. I'm sorry, what? Content warning. The game that we played last time. I think. No, no, I heard you just got kind of kind of bugged out a little oh, bit there. I was like. The I gotta, I gotta re-download Discord. I gotta up and download the 64. Apparently, the one that I have currently is the 30, the 34 bit. I don't know. It's, it's weird. The website is just Discord is just weird. I gotta re-download that <laughs> shit. But yeah, no. Uh, but most likely, I mean, like my my computer can handle content warning. I believe it does. I don't think I'm it sure. takes. I don't think it takes that much CPU pressure. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I already set this. Uh, I already set this line. Should I yeah. say it again? No. Oh, okay. I mean, it's good enough for us. We feelings can see considerably well in the dark. But it wouldn't kill anyone to just put more lights around here. Oh, there extended her paw to me, blowing me out of my thoughts. Here, let me help you up. I took one last deep breath of air. I got their hit. Oh, almost at hand. Better? Well, aside from how much you've been bullying me so far. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. She laughed. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me. I, I really appreciate it. She suddenly changed her attitude. It's nothing. Alfie always takes care of his friends. And breaks a stupid nickname for once. Aldera smiled at me uh, and started to walk to the graveyard. I followed her closely. Seeing so many tombstones with different names, they can to wonder how many how many animals have cried in front of them. It's really sad to think that think about. But I can confirm that this tombstone have been visited recently. It's about a smell coming from them from them. Yeah. In moments like this, 
Sometimes I wish I didn't have such a good news. Suddenly, I feel like you're not supposed to be here. It's really strange. We're here. Well, they were catching my attention. As she sits in front of a tombstone, it's her mother's. You heard my phone just started playing videos and I threw it at the wall. Hold up. <laughs> I just, I, I, uh, like, I, no, I just tossed it out, like, at the wall by accident. Like, <laughs> Why? Why does it auto uh, play videos like that? Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, it is unveiling. Oh, Sacred Dead. Uh, uh, unveiling? Yeah, it's a visual novel. Yeah. It's, a, it's honestly very fan service and I love it. It's great. The story so far is pretty cute. Yeah. Good evening, Mom. I sat on the grass close to her, and watched as she put a dandelion on the tombstone. I hadn't noticed when she got one. She probably had it in her pot this whole time. Look, <laughs> your favorites. Oh, there are smiles. The tombstone had some words on it. Here lies her, her Linda. Here lies her Linda. Yeah, I, I, I just got caught off with the uh, with the fucking bold oh. uh, font there. Okay. Here lies her Linda, mother and wife, gave her life for her family. May she rest in peace. The phrase was as heroic as it was sad. Surprise! This time I brought Nakuda with me. She grabbed me by the shoulder and just like a kid, introducing a friend to her parents. Uh, hello, Linda. I smiled nervously. I'm glad you remember how she likes to be called. She grinned at me and then looked at the tombstone again. How's it going, Mom? I'm really doing well. Your daughter trains every day to become stronger. I even almost won a sword fight with Dad. She looked so happy. But, you know, I'm still trying to win his trust back. I'll dare aside at sadness. <sighs> but don't worry. I'm not giving up. We're making progress since you left us, and I'll keep fighting for that. I don't think it too about Althera's dad be being mad at her, but I don't really know what happened. She said it was just some minor disagreement, though, although I don't believe it that much. The good thing is that me and Dad are doing pr a pretty good job protecting the town. Every day I train the best guards that any place could have. Yeah, I know a couple of them. A couple of them. She didn't train them really well. It looked so hot and capable when hot. Strong capable. I said hot twice. Fuck. <laughs> and there's your response. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Horny, horny, no horny thoughts. Have some respect, you dumb cat. Everyone in the town respects me. They tell me how safe they feel when I'm around. I bet you'd be so proud to know how many lives I've saved. I noticed how Aldera helped. I noticed how Aldera's mood was thinking to f starting to falter. Hey, I'm, I'm very proud of you. I said, so that she would hold on to that positive feeling. Altera looked at me in a little surprise for a second, just before laying her head on my shoulders. I've been... <laughs> I've been wondering these 11 years when you'd be romantic with me, darling. She mocked me. <laughs> I'll shut it. I blushed. You don't have to worry, Mom. Me and Nakuda have each other's backs. Aw, that's so sweet. She can be annoying at times, but she's the sweetest animal I know. Oh, but you wouldn't believe his intentions on my guards. I've never seen him so thirsty for my boys. Forget it. Forget every nice thing I said about her. You're a liar. Don't, uh, do not listen to her, Linda. You know I'm not like that. <laughs> I don't explain to him so while making an attempt to shut up Bear's mouth. He asked my guard if he could grab his butt. That's not true! <laughs> yeah, it was an embarrassment. And so, my sexual orientation kept being the main topic. From the grave. 
Mom, say it. When some of the grins and jokes were over, out there and I were serious adults again. She closed her eyes and looked at her mother's grave. I did the same. I know what's coming next. May, may your soul, soul find, find a better, better life, life, and may we may be we together. Be... Here we go. Bye. at the same time. Uh, I hope that yeah, came out at the same time. Oh, boy. Hey, Jenny. We opened our eyes and looked at each other with a smile. Do you think that's true? She asked, looking at the tombstone, but her smile disappearing slowly. Hmm? What do you mean? You know, the meaning behind that phrase. I still didn't understand what she was talking about. Do you think that we really reincarnate? That maybe my mom already has a new family or another life? Well, there seems lost in thought. So much so that she just laid her head on me and didn't say anything else after that. The question made me feel weird, but... I thought I could work with that and lighten the mood. Well, it's nice to think that our lives never truly end. That we just change and start all over again. Wouldn't it be fine? Wouldn't it be funny? Alder raised her head and looked at me curiously. Would it what be funny? Could you imagine I could have been something like a warrior in the past, and I'm just a cuckoo who had never held a sword in his life? Wow. That's really sad and pathetic, if you ask me. You're really helping me with our self-esteem, you know. That's that sarcastic, but... Just laughed. <laughs> you know it's a joke. To me, you're perfect just the way you are. I suddenly got flustered by her words. Thanks. I grin with a little blush on my face. Yeah. With the perfect, with that perfect round ass of yours? Stop burning the mood. <laughs> Stuck out a turn play, playfully. We both got up from the grass and brushed out of dirt off of our butts. And speaking of dirt, we cleaned the grave before leaving, bringing trash around it. I think it's time to go. Suddenly, her saw disappeared and her hair is lowered. She looks so worried and nervous. You okay? I asked getting closer to her. Nakuda, do you trust me? I sound unusually insecure. Her sudden mood change was giving me the creeps. Uh, of course I trust you. I replied with concern in my chest. Oh, they are tr uh, they're awe to me. Take my paw. The mood suddenly felt so tense between us. I clasped her paws with her and let her guide me past the graveyard's fence. Is this another joke of yours? I asked, wishing that those is up there doing the worst jokes as always, but didn't answer me. She just kept dragging me with her in silence. We climbed a small hill high enough to see the entire cemetery from there. My heart beats faster, from it, but every step closer to the top. I was getting anxious like my body wanted to scream and run away. Suddenly, the sky began to get cloudy, and I felt those cold winds blowing all over my fur. Shit! This will be quick, I promise! She might have said something when it started to rain. Out there, hasten her steps without explaining anything to me about what's hap what was happening. Only on top of the hill, I noticed two graves close to a, gr a big tree. That's weird. I thought the great guards ended after the fence. When we arrived, out there placed me under the tree to protect me from the rain. Nikuda, I'm doing this for your own good. For our own good. Aldera put her paws on my shoulders, looking at me with concern. Oh, there, what's going on? You're I scared. warned Jaden and Matthew to never mention the things that happened when the Great Bog didn't save you from the fly. Aldera seemed doubtful about him. Seemed doubtful by continuing. That day, Bogdan found you gagged, bandaged, and tied up with thick rope. Those fucking bastards kidnapped you and took you from that place! She raised her voice from anger. I'm... 
<sighs> I'm glad Bogdan felt that something was going to happen in that plate and quickly went to help you. When he had your unconscious body in his arms, I saw how the... the... Oh, there seems to be struggling to remember something. Remembering... Something. I saw that place was on fire. I was so relieved that you were okay that I forgot who you were at the time. But that day, I was alone. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's you. Yeah. But that day... I was... Hold up. That day... There was no one with me. I was just... I was... Oh, they desperately looked me in the eyes and shake my body. Nikuda, I need to know who exactly did that to you. She took me away from the tree. The rain transformed into a storm and the, full, the water fully soaked her first. I need to know who killed... Nikuda. Uh, who? A weird distortion in my ear didn't let me hear out there. Let me hear out there that one. Them! She sighed, defeated, and turned my body towards the two graves close to us. My breath fell short. My head started to hurt terribly. I don't get it. There's nothing there. What is she talking about? Aldera. There's nothing here. Aldera looked at me scared. What? What? What happened? I can't... I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. I... It hurts. Nikuda. I heard my name with a sad tone. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Are those things... Again? Help me. Please. No. That voice, it's different. It's so comforting. Comforting. Yeah. Why? My heart feels so happy. So relieved. You're the only one who can do it. Help me save them. Save them? Save who? Come with me. My sweet Nikuda. 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 Nikuda! Nikuda, wake up! Slowly, I have recovered consciousness. Getting up there, I was fiercely shaking my body. I woke with a fright and my eyes snapped open. Ah, what happened? Oh, they are like, I'd at me to give me a hug. I think Bogdan, you're okay. They sighed, but le relieved. Nakuda. That voice again. It wasn't, it wasn't a dream. Lightning must have hit close enough to stun us. We have to go and... Oh, there. I heard someone asking for help. I heard to the, I heard into it. Ugh. I can't talk for a second there. <laughs> Sorry, my, my fucking tongue gets weird. Right. I interrupted her while get, getting up desperately. What are you talking about? I didn't hear anyone. What I paying attention to out there is yelling. I kept looking for the voice asking for my help. Nikuda, there, no, there's no one here. The storm is getting worse. We have to go now. I'm here. Please help me. There it is again. Don't you hear it? Wait, does my guy have a, a pterochromia? I don't know. Let's see. Hold up. She looks. Yeah. Blue oh, and green. What the fuck? <clears throat> I just instantly thought that he had blue eyes, but no, I guess he didn't. Wow. Mm. She looked at me very confused and angry already. 
It took me by the arms to grab my attention. Are you insane? We got to get the hell out of here before fucking lightning hits us. You began to drag, drag me down hill. Don't leave me here. Please. I stopped myself and looked at her with anger. Would you fucking wait for a moment? My sudden outburst scared her. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Aldera. Just trust me, okay? Decide, but stop dragging me. Fine. I closed my eyes and prepared myself. Hope this works. Okay, I guess you can do this. Just focus. Take a deep breath and use your gift. Inhale deeply, filling up my lungs slow and steady. Well, and we're gonna save here. <laughs> I had to end a little bit early. I got, I just got a text from the family. They need me to do something. No they need me to do something, and it's gonna take a little longer than a few minutes. So oh, oh. we are going to save here. At a cliffhanger, I know, but how cliche. But yeah, so with that being said, everyone, we are going to end the stream here for today so we can rest our computer as to not, hopefully not crash it. It needs rest because like we are literally working with no exhaust fan whatsoever. So yeah. For the YouTube side, thank you for watching. I hope you stayed comfy and cozy in this Owl Cottage. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. With every comment and subscription, helps us get pushed into the algorithm a little bit more. And hit that bell icon to get notified on the next live stream that's going to happen. Which should should be tomorrow, actually. We, we are doing another, visual no, another two visual novels. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, YouTube. So let me just make sure... So let me just make sure that I end it correctly. So yeah, so for the YouTube side, we are going to end it here for now. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Catch us on our Twitch stream and the links down below. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you notified. And if you want to follow any of our socials, we we do post every day on every day on. Every, honestly, we post every day. Our schedules are mainly posted on Monday mornings. But for next week, starting the 22nd through the 29th, there will be no stream next week as I will be up, up in Canada to get some supplies. So, yeah, supplies to Canada. No, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. We're going to update our computer. We're going to, uh, our boyfriend, our boyfriend Locke has some, has three fans for us as well as an ex another hard drive so we can start editing more videos to post on here. So yeah, Yay. hopefully you see some cool edits later on. So yeah, for both streams. Like, I guess I'll do this for both streams since we're ending. Thank you all for watching. I hope you stay comfy, cozy in this Owl Cottage. And we will see you guys again next time. We won't be raiding anyone tonight as I really do need to, need to head up real quick. So that being said, everyone, see you guys tomorrow. Nick, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>